Congratulations on becoming a Coker Cobra. We can't wait to see you on campus. If you're like most new college students, you're probably wondering about financial aid, how much you can get, and how can you get it. We know it can be overwhelming, so here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of the whole process. It all starts with the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA for short. You can fill out your FAFSA by visiting studentaid.gov. As a part of your application, you will be asked to provide an FSA ID. That is a special student loan identification number for both yourself and a parent or guardian. The FSA ID gives you access to most federal financial aid websites and is also used to electronically sign your FAFSA. Except for a few very specific situations, the government requires parents to enter their information on the FAFSA, in addition to the student's information, even if you're over 18 and no longer live at home. The FAFSA will walk you through questions to determine if an exception applies to you. The application process will also include a hint section to help clarify any questions from the form. Double check that the information you put on your FAFSA is correct. To make the process easier, the application will prompt you to use the IRS data retrieval tool. If you opt to use this tool, all of your tax information will be pulled automatically into your FAFSA. That can save you a lot of time. While FAFSA's main purpose is to determine your eligibility for federal loans, the application is also used for state loan programs like the South Carolina Tuition Grant. You'll need to have your FAFSA completed by June 30th to be eligible for that funding. You'll also need to have all of your admissions documents submitted to COCR, including your final high school transcript, test scores, and any previous college transcripts. Additionally, many COCR students receive some form of academic scholarship based on high school achievements. There's also scholarship opportunities for student athletes and talent scholarships for students majoring in performing or visual arts. These funds are all completely free. You don't ever have to pay them back. Most first year college students are also eligible for $5,500 in federal direct subsidized and or unsubsidized loans. Subsidized loans are funding that you will have to pay back eventually, but the government pays the loan interest while you're still in school. Unsubsidized loans, on the other hand, begin accruing interest immediately. The amount of each loan type that you can receive is determined by your expected family contribution, or EFC. Once you've completed your FAFSA and turned in all of your admissions documents, your admissions counselor will send an estimated financial aid award letter. This letter will list all of the loans, scholarships, and grant money you've been awarded from COCR, the federal government, and state government. There are a number of factors that go into calculating your financial aid award, so this letter is an estimate until everything is finalized. To finalize your financial aid package, you'll start by checking your self-service account to see which documentation you may need to complete. For federal direct subsidized and unsubsidized loans, you'll need to complete a master promissory note and entrance counseling at studentloans.gov. You will also need to accept the loans by completing the loan acceptance and or refusal form. After you submit your FAFSA, Coker's Office of Student Financial Planning may ask you to verify some information. This is nothing to worry about, and sometimes the government requires it. If you are contacted for verification, please be sure to send any necessary information to Coker as soon as you receive a request. This will ensure that your aid will be ready by the time your bill is due. Any documents you need for verification will be listed in your self-service account. If you do not receive a verification request from COCR, then you are all set and do not need to send any additional information. If you owe a balance on your account after all of your financial aid has been applied, you have some options to help you pay for it. One way is a Parent PLUS loan. That's a federal loan that parents can take out to assist with the cost of their children's college education. Both parents and step-parents can apply for a Parent PLUS loan even if their name isn't on the FAFSA. Parents can request a loan up to the student's annual cost of attendance minus any other awarded aid. The loan will remain in the parent's name until it is paid off. Private alternative loans are also available from banks and credit unions. These loans are taken out in the student's name. However, they do require a creditworthy cosigner, so be sure to plan ahead when applying. As with the Parent PLUS loan, students can borrow private student loans up to their cost of attendance, minus any other aid. 
For students and families who prefer to pay out of pocket and avoid loans, COCAR offers an interest-free monthly payment plan. You can take the balance that you owe for the entire year and split it equally throughout that year. The Office of Student Accounts can help you get your payment plan set up, or, if you'd rather, you can pay your entire balance in full. Out-of-pocket payments can be made online through self-service, by mailing a check payable to Coker College, or in person by cash or check. For security reasons, Coker does not process credit cards over the phone or in person, but you can always use your credit card to pay online. If you have any questions or need any assistance with your student account, the Student Solution Center is located on the second floor of the Student Union Building. Here, you'll find the Office of Student Accounts, Student Financial Planning, and Academic Records all in one place. The Student Solution Center is open for phone calls and walk-ins during normal business hours Monday through Friday, or you can email them at ssc at coker.edu. And of course, you can always find more information online at coker.edu.